Right, hello everybody, welcome along to this remote lesson, giving you a break from my voice live by giving you my voice recorded, but hopefully it will help you by going through this lesson. So what you need to be ready to do, as we've done in the past with some of these, is I'm going to talk you through the different elements of the lesson and basically just need you to pause when I say pause, have a go at the activity, then you can unpause and we'll continue with the lesson. It just means you can do it at your own speed. So before we move on, just have a little look at this like we do in a lesson, starting off with something which sets the scene a bit for you. Um, have a look at what links all these pictures together and what could you add to this list of things. So there they are. If you want to pause, then you can pause before I reveal the answer. Just give you a second to look at those. So aside from the fact that they're all foods or drinks, items that you can consume, actually the answer which I'm looking for there is that they are all incredibly high in sugar. Um, in fact, that's what I want you to do with my next activity then, is task number one. So again, write, as a title today, you could put paper two sugar as your title. So paper two sugar and today's date. And then task one, please, so I can work my way through your work when you submit it later. Task one for five minutes then, you're going to need to pause this video and write down the link that we just said, the fact that they're all high, very high in sugar. But I also want you to write down and bullet point down for me, please, five items which are high in sugar and the amount of sugar they contain as well. And just see if any of those surprise you. So you'll need to use the internet, just nip off and do a little bit of quick research. So if you want to pause this video, I'm going to go quiet for five seconds now. Okay, thanks. Look forward to seeing what you find out later. Right, next up then, there is uh, a title. I realise that I've just given you a title, but you can stick that one down as well. And just make sure you've got today's date with the picture, of course, illustrating sugar, the sugar that goes into us and the damage it may cause. So what I need you to do now then is, again, you're going to pause this video in a moment. The link won't work on the screen with the YouTube video, but you will be able to access this by going on to show my homework. Uh, where you'll find the slides and the link is there. Need you to watch this video and basically consider what do you know about sugar in food and drink already? You might have come across it in other lessons perhaps. Uh, what are the problems? Do you actually know literally what it does to your body, too much sugar, and like as in the inner workings of your body rather than just making us put on weight? What are the new laws? So in the last few years, new laws have come about, all linked to do with sugar going into food. And what do you think about it? Just questions to consider, really, um, as you have a go at doing this. So I'm going to go quiet again for five seconds, just to allow you to stop this one and open up the other video and then come back to me. So over to you. Okay, so as that video was from ITV News then, the one that uh, just goes through the fact that the new sugar tax, which is why in the last few years, for example, uh, soft drinks that you see in places, you know, your supermarkets, Asda's, Tesco, etc., how they've reduced down the size of those bottles to avoid paying as much tax on them. And that tax then goes to supporting um, primary schools actually do receive some of that money through physical education, the PE lessons. Um, so the tax isn't just something that goes straight to the government. But nevertheless, what I want you to do now is you're going to have a go at these questions for me. So like we've been doing with the paper two, uh, the language paper two, which is where you're given two sources. Today it's just the one source. But I want you to read the article, which you'll find on showing my homework. And it's linked to sugar, of course. And these are the questions before you go and do that. I want you to consider. And you're going to write down these answers as well. So I'm giving you, as it says in the blue box there, 15 minutes. Question number one is, what is the writer's viewpoint on the topic? Number two is how do they convey this? So how is always a trigger word for things like methods and language choices. So you could even give me a couple of quotes there, please. Three, what do they want you to feel or think after reading this article? I'd almost add to that, feel, think or do. And four, what specific word choices subtly convey their viewpoint? Because there is a viewpoint in this one. It may be slightly more complicated in that it's not it doesn't stand out and shout at you, but it is there. And that's why I've used the word subtly. So you need to look at some of those. And I will give you a prompt uh, once you've had a go yourself first. So the article is the Jamie Oliver one. You'll need to stop this one and go and have a little read and then answer those questions. So 15 minutes. I'll go quiet now and pause the video, please.
Okay, so let me draw your attention to a couple of things on that article then. He talks about, he uses words like vital, comes up uh, a couple of times I think in that article, but certainly towards the bottom he talks about the word vital. And in fact, if I just have a quick flick onto that article myself, here it is. Um, it's a vital step forward he talks about. Um, and then where else was it as well? Uh, increased subsequently diseases. So he uses lots of uh, facts and sort of information as well. Um, including tighter restrictions, like tackled head on. So he's using imperatives in there as well. So you've got your verb choices, but there's also, uh, here we go, adverbs as well, like importantly there. Um, and also like these exclamation marks. So there are a range of different language methods that he uses there. Let me just go back to this one then. So with your final task today the then, this is the exam question that you might face. This would be a question three where you've got 12 marks. That's about 15 minutes. How has the writer of the article used language to convey their views about the sugar tax? So my remember then beneath that is choose your evidence. So the article you've just looked at, which bit are you going to do and use? And once you've decided that, you can then do the one, two, three we've done before. What is their viewpoint? So you're answering this. So the writer thinks that the sugar tax is because... And what method do they use? Is that going to be the adjective, the adverb? Is it going to be the imperative? Then you need your evidence, of course. And finally, the effect. I want you to analyse. But before you have a go at this, I've put this in the blue box here. It's really important. You should be aiming for at least two paragraphs and ideally three paragraphs in the time you've got. It says 20 minutes in the box. Really, it's a 15 minuter, but I'm giving you that a little bit longer today. And you will need to keep looking back at the source as you're doing this as well, finding your evidence. So have a really good go. I'm very interested today for, for the quantity that you produce in the time as well. So this isn't just a, a one paragraph job and then you're done, off you go. Really important you have a good go at this one for me. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be looking out for, the quality of your submission today. Um, other than that, I hope you find this uh, the video useful. Um, it's over to you and you can always email if there's any problems. If you're really stuck, a uh, few of you are struggling with the methods, which I did just point out on the Jamie Oliver for you. But if you've got a quote and you're just really not sure, you can always ping me an email um, and I'll help you. Right, over to you everybody. Have a good day and thanks for watching.